Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Louisville, Kentucky. Please give it up for King Robert Merriweather the third. All right, your trunks, trunks here will low, so keep your blokes here, bud. Keep it here, bud. We know all the rules, let's keep it clean. Good luck, guys. And you see that height disparity right away. And just gonna apologize right away, because we're gonna say at some point, Robert Mayweather the third. We're gonna say that. It's Merriweather. <laughs> to make it more confusing, he trains out of the Mayweather camp. That's some great sparring with the likes of Gervonta Davis, Shakur Stevenson. This is one of those up and comers a lot of people have their eye on. Absolutely, yeah. a very highly touted, um, 19 years old, obviously very young, but and doing it on the Pro Box TV air, man, is not, not an easy proving ground. Both of these guys are 19, right? Yeah, they're the same age, both 19. Merriweather started at 17 years old. Turned pro at 17. Most of us are in high school. Merriweather talked about the great sparring at the Mayweather camp, everything he's been able to do, the the, the, the coaching intelligence he's found out there in Vegas. A little counter body shot there, snuck in there by Merriweather. Yeah, sweet head movement there from Merriweather going underneath the taller man shots. Yeah, you want to try to sucker the, the taller man here and try to get him to uh, overcommit a little bit. Dollar for his part when we talked to him, he was just excited about this opportunity. He says, five don't means something, but to do it in the U.S., I guess a fighter that you know the, the boxing world is looking at as a solid up-and-comer, that's what means something to me. I want to make a fight out of this. Not to mention on our air, I think a lot of fighters understand what this platform means, you know, what it means to fight here, how many people are going to see it. This is a huge opportunity for guys very early in their career. But also, oh. gentlemen, you know, 5-0 versus 5-0, you don't see that very often in professional boxing. Pro Box TV, we pride ourselves on these kinds of matchups. So another solid counter body shot there by Mary, whether he was warned for being slightly low, but you can see you can see what he's after. He's trying to cut down the, and chop down the, the taller man like a tree. Definitely get the right idea on how to fight a taller man. Dig it down to the body of the left hook as Gala tried to slide out to his right. That was a little bit awkward, um, even a little bit uncoordinated, dare I say. Let's see if he knows how to make it work for him. There's no bad build for fighting. It's how you use the build you've got. If you're going to be unorthodox, fight unorthodox. So far, he's doing it. I was going to mention, you know, champion mentioned the unorthodox here, the kind of awkwardness of Gala. I mean, his those elbows are very flared. There's going to be opportunities for Merriweather to dig down to the body time and time again of that long torso. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you may have seen that in the footage in our video. Because he's been seriously targeting the body. And being unorthodox and being a little awkward and being tall isn't necessarily a bad thing. Marcos Maidana was very good at that. But um, I'm still trying to figure out how Gala's going to make it work for him. Right now, Merriweather's off to a pretty good start. Yeah, not a lot of jabbing so far from Gali. He's pawing it out there, but not using it in a way to keep Merriweather off him. Hey, yeah, Gali actually almost fighting as if he's a small man. Lateral movement and cutting angles, but not a whole lot of jabs. You can see Merriweather's coming with the mentality to be, take charge of the ring and be the boss, and that's what he's been trying to do since the opening bell so far. Well, if you see, he's taken the center of the ring the entire time. I mean, he hasn't really taken many backward steps, unless he's trying to set something up like he is here. <laughs> Probably for the first time, Merriweather up against the ropes, a good head movement. Yeah, solid slip and roll there. For Merriweather just missed the counter up a couple. You see the mentalities there. Thought the moment would be a little too much for Gala. That's been untrue as well. He's doing very, very well when it comes to angling, moving, staying outside. Hasn't had much offense of his own. Let's see if he finds that in round number two. That's his father, Robert Merriweather Jr. It is son advice. Y de volar sube las manos. Simón, cierro pues. Quiero que tire pues más cantidad en este en este round. Cierro. ¿Cómo anda pues? Hay que echarle huevo. We be in round number two. Robert Merriweather the third. Purple trunks with white trim. His opponent, Victor Manuel Lopez Gala, in the white and gold. And 
And Gala looking to mix it up a little bit more to start out round number two. And Champ, you said at the, last, the end of the last round, Mayweather has the right idea. You can see that he's got a plan. He slips and slides very, very well, fires right back. He's been focusing on the body, putting those jabs in when he can. That's one thing that a shorter man should do against a taller man. You can out-jab the taller man. Yeah, and he's not only been doing that, he's been doing it from different looks. He's, he's been thinking in there. You see, now he double, triple oh. jab on the inside. To close the gap with a speedy double, triple jab. Also, the explosive first step to force Gala back. And that beautiful double left, body head. Great stuff against a taller fighter. Yeah, these have been the cleanest punches that Merriweather, Merriweather has landed thus far. He's been countering well, but just a little bit off with the counters, like that right hook, right uppercut that we saw. Beautiful head movement there. Crowd appreciating that defense, even gets a smile from Gala. We have a very educated fan base here. You don't, do. you don't necessarily see a lot of a lot of applause breaks for head movement, but we just had that. So I'm, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what Gal is trying to do. And I, besides, obviously, he's trying to win the fight, but I'm trying to, trying to, I'm trying to figure out his his path to victory, or if he's even figured one out yet. You know, a lot of fighters with that awkward start, style try to get you to overextend, right? To reach a little bit too much. And Merriweather, so far, not doing that at all. Yeah, he, it's actually been Gal who's been overextending, yeah. and, and Merriweather been making him pay. Yeah, you can just see Merriweather has the, the better judge of distance, understands how long or tall he is, and Regala does not. And you see also the change of level again. You see Merriweather attacks high with that instant quick first step and then drops low to the body. So he gets Gala going backwards on that first explosive step, and then he drops down to his body instead of reaching out front to the head. Merriweather training out of Vegas, but originally from Louisville, Kentucky, of course, the home of Muhammad Ali. He understands that legacy. Those are footsteps I want to follow. Very adamant about that when we talk to him. I had a chance to speak to Robert's mother earlier this afternoon, ran into her walking around campus, and she's, you know, I congratulated her on her son being a very, very nice, respectful man, also very talented. She said, well, wait till you see him tonight. He, he was a little ring rusty last time. Tonight he's going to be on point. He does look better. So far, so good. Yeah. Even the delivery of his shots in general just looks a lot sharper. Um, oh. Movement before the punch, after the punch. You can see this is a, you can see the quality he's showing here. Excellent job so far, staying behind the jab. Yeah. And Gala just feels like he's bamboozled. Good shot there by Gala. Yeah, best, punch. best punch he's landed thus far. Gala looking for a way back into this fight, but has not found it yet. Ah. just about offense in this fight. It's been some spectacular defense from the up-and-comer Robert Merriweather the third. Here it is. And yeah, so see some of that beautiful head movement, that sh counter and shoot, that slip and rip. Yeah. And there's all that head movement there as he slips and slides his way out. Didn't get touched with any of that. Yeah. Little roll counter automatic. Make him miss, make him pay. And so far to start round number three, Robert Merriweather the third has been doing all of that. Both fighters undefeated at five and oh, only two knockouts on Merriweather's uh, record. No more for his boxing skill than his punching power. You see the volume there, it's punches like that. It led to his undefeated record. In his defense though of, of the lack of knockouts, you know, he's been on our air, but he's also only 19. <clears throat> that muscle maturity takes time, that power. We call it man strength, you know, it doesn't come until a little bit later. He has, the, he has the speed, he has the skills, has the footwork. Power might develop later. That 
as you were saying earlier about Gala, Paulie, it's like you, you don't see the strategy necessarily. He's in the fight. He's getting overwhelmed by any stretch of the imagination, but he hasn't seen his, we haven't seen his path to victory yet. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know if he's seen his path to victory yet. He's just kind of throwing and trying to see what sticks. And I, I prefer to see fighters that, you know, will kind of have a, a path to victory in their mind already try to execute it, but he's just kind of just sticking his hands out there, maybe throwing punches, sticking his hands out there, and, you know, just like throwing something out of wall and seeing what sticks. Yeah, he's throwing, he's just not making any contact. Yeah. Despite being six feet tall and having a sizable reach advantage, his jab has been a non-factor so far in this fight. Oh, good left hook there from Gala as Merriweather tried to roll and shoot that uppercut from a little too far away. Well, that stuck a little bit. <laughs> Going back to it again. Gala, three knockouts in his five wins. You know, Champ, one thing I remember from the Merriweather's last appearance on our air, there seemed to be a little gap between the beautiful defensive maneuvers they did and then his counters. It seems like he's, he's fixed that here. He's yeah. firing right away. Yeah. Hasn't found his mark quite yet, but... Yeah, and that, that might be uh, to do with uh, what his mother said uh, to you earlier. He might have been rusty last fight. Sometimes uh, you don't transition that quick uh, defense to offense and offensive defense as smoothly when you're a little rusty. He's been much sharper with that tonight. It was a nice uppercut on the inside, landed by Merriweather. Probably the best uppercut he's landed thus far, even though he's thrown many. He's made it very, very clear. He said, I can box, I can fight. It isn't just about my skills. I'm willing to step in there and land big punches. Yeah, Jimmy, you can see he's got that Mayweather athletic style that you see in those gyms time and time again. Stepping there, you spar with Trevante Davis, Shakur Stevenson. Or hey, Linares, you better know what you're doing. It's just weird because Gala, every time he gets out, he gets out like five miles away. <laughs> like this execution that's missing so far. He's got, like you said, he's got all the pieces. He, he's got the right idea. He has all the fundamentals. It's just getting it to come together. But again, at 19 years old, you know, I, 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 it's understandable. We'll be in round number four. Can Gala from Mexico get back in this fight? I think anyone with any sense would have Merriweather the third ahead all three rounds so far. You see this is boxing, so not everybody has to. see right there, he yeah. did a, a little pivot and then he went across the whole ring. Like, dude, dude. Hard to counterpunch when you're that far yes, out of it. Yes, yeah. exactly, over and over commitment to defense. And he's the taller man, so he actually doesn't need to make as big a defensive move as maybe a Mayweather, a Mer Merriweather, there's my mistake. It's not a Merriweather would have, would have, would, is liable to make. That's one strike, Paulie. Yeah, yeah, we got a jar here, which you can throw, <laughs> throw a dollar <laughs> in every time. Tip, tip jar. Someone's good. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's, let's up the ante, boys. Let's do 20s. <laughs> <laughs> Gala is I mean, vice versa. I mean, Merriweather wasting very little, controlling yeah. the center of the yeah. ring, take, making nice, smooth, slick maneuvers, just just making Gallo miss. Because Gallo Merri miss. Merriweather also uses various techniques to defense. Sometimes he's catching on the gloves, sometimes he's moving his head, and sometimes he's, he's using his legs. Like, there he uses his legs to change his range. At times, he'll catch and parry on the gloves and then uh, try to fire back. And at times, he's also moved his head as we displayed a couple rounds of little counter there. You can tell how great a fighter is by how little he missed by, right? You just barely miss them. That's why they're always that back with that counter shot. Jimmy, to your point, the best defensive fighters are subtle. Because when you're subtle with those shots, you make someone just miss. They think they're going to hit you, they overcommit, and then you have the opportunity to counter. Smothering the punches of Gala against the ropes. That's where the reach advantage becomes a disadvantage. And I think this is a, a good time for Merriweather to start staying in front and letting those punches go. Plant your feet a little bit. Yeah. You're, you're, you've got the timing of your opponent. You're getting, or you're seeing the shots. You're getting in between. Yeah, and that's where I think the 19-year-old has to uh, maybe mature a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Uh, I, I think, you know, he'll learn that with a little bit more experience and a little bit more, more, uh, you know, fights in the ring and get those rounds in there. And one thing about his career, and we talked about, you know, 19 doesn't have all the knockout power in the world. He's getting rounds, right? And we're seeing him develop round after. He's not, he's not ringing off five, six first round knockouts. Nice right hand blocked well by Merriweather. Once again. Round 
round four coming to a close. Chris, it's one of those moments where you go, hey, what did you come here to do in the corner, right? What did you come here to do, Gallo? What did you come here to do? What, what, what strategy did you plan to follow? I don't think he has an answer. That's, that's, that's what I'm seeing. So far, hasn't shown a lot of inside fighting ability. That's one thing, generally taller fighters aren't the best in fighters unless your name is Diego Corrales, but okay. most of the time the taller man wants to be on the outside, use, the, use that length. Riddick Bowe, pretty good inside fighter for a heavyweight for that's of a, his size. Yeah. That's a great point. Not a lot of them. He's also taller and getting out jabbed here. You know, I, I think Merriweather could be a little busier on the jab, but the fact that Gala is not jabbing is even, is even more, uh, more of a problem for me. Mm. Ollie, what do we always say in fighting? If I had your build, I'd be undefeated. Right? He's six foot and not throwing the jab, right? Yeah, real shame. And even when he throws it, it's like almost like he doesn't know how to throw it. He doesn't practice it because he oversteps when he throws it. There, I don't know what that, that was, was, but he could have just used the jab instead of complicating his life. That actually that might have landed if, if it was a jab, a straight punch. Going for the leaping left hook, off balance. See the difference in footwork as yeah, well. You're when yeah. you're still in your first five, ten fights, you definitely get your veritable cast of characters out there. You know, with, they, got, <laughs> yeah. they get here in various ways. However, Gala got the five and zero. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <but the laughs> Certainly is, interesting to me. But a lot of people would have trouble with this build, with this style, with the, 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 what would you keep saying, Paulie? The awkwardness of no, Lopez Gala and Merriweather has been absolutely yeah. one of the reasons he looks so bad is because he's in with the, such right. good quality. Yes. I got, got him. That's a great point, Jimmy. Yep. It's not just you know it looks bad, but it's also Merriweather's class in there right now. That, that's also making Gala look more ridiculous. Yeah, maybe if Gala started landing something, he could build off of some contact, but he's been hitting air all night long. The only jab there, at least he tried it. Not a very good one, but he's no, tried he's, it. He's certainly trying. I'm not, we're not going to take any of that away from him at all, but he just, ooh, the right hands from Merriweather have been landing pretty solid this round. Nice, landing. short, sharp counters. Yeah, the landing percentage and power has been one-sided to say the least. In favor of Merriweather. You know what I'm noticing about Mer Merriweather? He, he's a counter puncher. He, he prefers to let you lead and counter. He's very, he's got a very good jab, but he doesn't, he doesn't build off of it. He kind of uses it to set, set the line in the sand and look to counter for you. There, now he's stacks for nice one too. See, this is what I want to see more from everyone. Now we're starting to walk him down. Now we're starting to throw combinations. Now we're starting to keep the pressure on. And you see now, blood from the nose of Gala. His mouth is open. He's breathing heavy. Yeah, I think he's, I think Merriweather's starting to see that he's superior. He maybe step on the gas a little bit. Oh, good counter there. Turning southpaw now. I can see a little power in Gala, though. The way he throws those punches, he's just missing them. You know, they're not really landing on anything, but... Yeah, then he's trying now on the inside. Yeah. He does have three KOs in his five wins, does Gallup. No, nice short shot counter there again. Accurate shot right in the center of the ring. See a mouse on the temple of Gala on that left side from those right hands that he's been landing all around. Looks like after five rounds of dominance, the damage starting to sink in. Merriweather all over Lopez Gala. Second, you got to feel the energy here at the Pro Box Event Center in Plant City. It's going to be a great run, 22 and 1, 24, 6 and 1 in our main event. Two knockout punchers. A surprise, surprise, another great main event. <laughs> Pro Box TV, man. Another one tonight. This one, competitive on paper. Both men 5 and 0, oh, but Robert Merriweather, June, uh, the third, I'm sorry, showing his class. <laughs> yeah, his dad. He took one off. <laughs> I, took, I owe you 50 cents there in the go. jar. There you go. <laughs> Merriweather showing his class so far in this fight. Oh, oh. good shot. Shot there by Merriweather. They both went for the hook, but Merriweather shorter shot landed first. And he kept that real tight. Most likely a wipeout on the scorecards. 
Question is, will Merriweather turn it up? Try and get a finish. Speaking of turning, I, I think something that Mayweather should, you know, work on in the gym is turning his knuckles over. A lot of the punches, it seems like his wrists are a little bit, a little bit relaxed, a little smacky. If he turns those over, finds those knuckles, my cold coach used to say, getting in touch with your knuckles in the gym so you can land them in the fight makes a big difference in terms of delivering power and doing damage. Look him up on social media, Chris Algieri. Need, to, need a boxing coach. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> My nephew is the only guy I'll coach. Good body shot there from Gallows. Left hook to the liver. With your knowledge, I find that surprising. Maybe they're trying to show the matter. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Also taking the center of the ring, as he has done against the taller, rangier fighter throughout this Ooh. fight. Yeah. And he has dared Lopez Gala to come in and take the center, and Lopez Gala it's, hasn't been able to do it. Having said that, though, I still think Merriweather also leaves a lot of dead space where he could be jabbing. He could be showing uh, more, more control here. You but know, also linking the jab to the combos. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's one or the other. Yeah, good point there, too, champ. That's what we said. These are the gaps you want to see. You know, a 5-0 and fighter. Yeah, he's got all of it. Wait till he's 10 and 0, 15 and 0. All those things come together. Good jab attempt there to the body from the taller Gala. And Gala again, he's still, he's, we're in round six, he's still just seeing what sticks. <laughs> just give it a shot and see what sticks. He's rolling the dice in round six. A little too late though. And what has right been hand. a technical wipeout. Another right, nice right hand. And another, and another one. Every once in a while he lands one, you know? There is a little oh, wide there. Good left hook there from Merriweather inside. They see Mugala try to throw that wide right hand. He threw it again, and Merriweather caught in shot there with the, with the short left hook. See, Merriweather is thinking behind what he's seeing. That's, that's oh. I think, been a difference in this fight. Gala, I don't think, has been thinking nor adjusting to what he's seeing in front of him. But it's almost like, to your point, Paul, he hasn't had the success to see what sticks, right? Nothing's worked enough for him to build off of it. No momentum, no ability to build on anything. He's got no foundation, yeah. so when, when, you, when you can't, you know, you can't build on any of your shots, or jabs aren't landing, nothing consistently has been landing for Gala. Nothing's consistently been working for Gala. And I think a lot of the fast counters to Merriweather, he's having trouble seeing them as well. Seconds left in the final round. Merriweather the third, finishing with a flurry. Been his from the beginning, but an entertaining end to round number six. The fighters heard the bell, I didn't. <laughs> they both stopped right on time. <laughs> Great stuff from Robert Merriweather III. Gentlemen, I see where the hype comes from. I see why the interest in this kid. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the talent is there, the physical gifts are there, the fundamentals are there. Obviously, you know, coming up in the camps that he's come up, um, he's, he's getting great sparring, great work. Still a few gaps in, in the offense and, and from the counters, from the jabbing to the combinations, from the counters to landing those sh damaging shots, but uh, there's definitely a lot to work with. Here we see a lot of that beautiful head movement from Merriweather, was able to get underneath the sh shots from the taller Gala, making him hit a lot of air all night long. A lot of good fundamental shots there. You see left hook to the body, left hook to the head, slip slide, make his man miss. This, this is where the applause break came from the crowd, from some beautiful head movement, very slippery stuff there from Merriweather. There we see him working behind the jab, and that's the rounds where war wore on. We started to see more and more of this. Merriweather imposing his physical strength, his positioning, his stance from the taller man who didn't really Really find his feet all night long. Well, what's interesting is he fought well in pretty much every position against yeah. the ropes, in the outside, using the jab, inside, working the body. He fought well, fought well from everywhere. Counter right hands, left hooks, body shots. He really was putting it all together. He was doing it, but he wasn't putting it all together, I should say. But he did everything really well. I just would have loved to see him put everything together, working behind the jab, counters, and build. We, we guys, we get super chats on the on the comments here. All right. <laughs> Julius Richards sent us ten bucks. Says if Lopez can establish a jab and get the correct distances, he can counter Merriweather with an overhand right. Since Merriweather drops his left hand a lot. Good point. Listen, I mentioned. Julius, I mentioned Ju Ju Julius. It might have been better off in in Gala's corner than his own corner. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and in this case, the judges see this fight all three the same way. Judge Jacob Russ Sr., Brian Gary, and Joe Ware all score this bout 60 to 54 for your winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated, King Robert Merriweather. 
surprise there every round 10 9 to Robert Merriweather the third remember the name this kid at 19 years old he's got real skills no no doubt about that we were singing his praises all night long definitely still things to work on though there's some gaps in his offense and his counters but, but that's I like what I see that's what you like exactly that's yep. what you like to see a 19 year old kid with bright future still gaps and still things to work on but at 19 years old you also know he has time to work on those things and he's got a good base and a foundation to work off of those things and he's getting the rounds he's getting the maturity pro box TV will have him back very very soon but man Another star out of the Mayweather camp. More when we come back to Pro Box TV.